in combat sports, one of the most talented as well, Jeremy Horn. Thanks for stopping by and lending your insight to this fight. Thanks for having me, guys. And Jeremy, uh, so far, King of the Cage, shock and awe. Have been a uh, very interesting night of fights. And uh, what do you think about the sports growing popularity, of course, in your native country, the United States, and now here in Canada as well? Uh, you know, it's great. Um, I, I knew it was only a matter of time. You know, the more people see the sport, the more they're going to love it. So it's only a matter of time before it explains. All right, we look forward to hearing your analysis. And now let's throw it back up to Keith Crawford and referee Herb Dean's last-minute instructions. Okay, gentlemen, we've gone over the rules. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions at all times. Let's have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Come on, ready. All right, both these fighters well versed in the ground game. The Brazilian Jiu Jitsu of Permsey, submission grappling of dancing. Right up your alley there, Mr. Horn. So it should be interesting to see what transpires here in this matchup. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm looking forward fight? to this one. I've heard a lot about Mac ready? and uh, Come on. I'm to fight. Touch gloves to kick things off. My roundhouse kick connects by Danzig. What should Kermsey do here, Gumby? <laughs> uh, exactly what Mac just did. You know, when, uh, when you get your back pinned against the fence, you want to try and circle off as soon as possible. I what will not uh, take credit for that uh, nickname, by the way, Jeremy. <laughs> I know you're not extremely uh, comfortable with that name, Mr. Rufus. I guess that's kind of the way nicknames work. They get stuck <laughs> on you and they don't go away. Right here on the ground, what uh, what do you see happening here, Jeremy? Uh, Mike's doing a real good job. He's just working to the side and uh, he's keeping good control of uh, the far underhook. And uh, I think that needs to work on getting that arm underneath and, and working back to his feet. Got the knee ride into the full mount now. Really just kind of trying to flatten him out here. Trying to posture out great separation. A flurry of lefts and rights. Now giving up his back. And Jeremy, really, how, again, a lot of people, they want to see the stand-up and everything else, but, I mean, mixed martial arts does include the, the great ground game. And what, what are we seeing here happening on the bottom? Why are these fighters, look at here now, not being able to defend themselves intelligently? What should he be trying to do to... Avoid what's going on right there just what he did, you know uh, I'd always rather see a guy turn his back and, and look to defend the choke than to stay on the bottom and get punched You know, it's better to take a chance and lose than to, than to lose because he didn't do anything right and uh, lose he does but, uh, You know he did it right rather right. than get punched and let the referee stop it He rolled over he went for something he gave it a shot and I uh, ended up getting on the choke But that's not always the way it goes sometimes you can get away so we did predict it uh, the way it probably would go too because these uh, fighters are definitely Rear naked choke, happy when it comes to their style of fighting. And let's uh, take a look at the uh, replay here, guys. Yeah, Mac did a real good job of just pulling him back into him, getting both hooks in. And uh, it looked like he had an arm in already, so I can make it real tough to defend that when the guy gets an arm in early. I'm very fond of that choke. That's the first move I learned in jiu-jitsu. I am now training jiu-jitsu. It's fun. It's great. Yeah, the rear naked, obviously, it's a real solid one. Uh, you know, it's easy to learn, and uh, it can be applied pretty easily so. and now we'll go to ring announcer Keith Crawford to make this submission victory official oh one more time for these two gladiators the fight was stopped by a referee Herb Dean at 1 minute 45 seconds of first round due to tap out by a rear naked choke our winner Mac Danger. And again, we're going to ask uh, Jeremy Horn to stand by. We're going to get more of his expertise when it comes to defending the choke and on the ground. But right now, we will hear from the victorious Mac Danzig, improving to 2 and 0 oh in King of the Cage. Submitting Mike Valdez in his only King of the Cage appearance at San Jacinto with the rear naked choke. Surprise, surprise. Here's Keith standing by with Mac Danzig. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm in the ring with Mac Dantic. Mac, I know you have a huge fight coming up in four weeks on the King of the Cage pay-per-view. You wanted to make quick work of this. You did a great job. Tell me how it felt. It feels good, man. This is a good fight for me. Get in there, get all the kicks out, and get ready to go on pay-per-view in Reno, Nevada. 
So how does your training change now as far as just going right back into it? It doesn't change at all, I'm guessing. All it does is get harder. I'm gonna train harder. This is gonna be the biggest fight coming up in my life. October 29th, Reno, Nevada. November 11th on pay-per-view, King of the Cage, watch it. Ladies and gentlemen, King of the Cage superstar, Mac Benzin! So being uh, victorious again with the rear naked choke, Mac Danzig, and uh, again joining us here is Jeremy Horn. And Jeremy, again, there are, you know, many...